Hi y'all, Liz here again today, and we're still talking about training, and today I wanna to talk about carpet basics. Now, there aren't a whole ton of things to know about carpet, but there are some really, really important things that you wanna find out about. So you want to know what type of carpet it is that you are vacuuming. And usually with carpet, that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be vacuuming. You're also going to probably be doing some edging and there are edging tools that you can use. I don't know what you'll be using. Some people will use a brush. Some people use um, a broom and some people will use a vacuum that does some edging. So I don't know what you'll be using. You need to find out what you'll be using and figure out how often you'll be doing that as well. So that's the big thing about edging is what do you use and how often do you do it? Now, one thing that you do need to know about carpets, you're probably not going to learn all of the different carpet types. There's quite a few of them. I, I can think of at least six off the top of my head, but you do want to know about one carpet type and that's a loop carpet type. Uh, a lot of times it, uh, um, they'll all be called Berber. So Berber is a type of a loop carpet type. And with this type of carpet, if it gets a run, you get like a loose piece. And if you pull it, the whole thing will zip out and make a line. So it'll cause a run in the carpet. So the reason why I'm bringing this up is obviously this can be really, really dangerous, right? You can pull this big, huge thing and screw up a whole big, huge area of carpet really, really quickly. So you want to be looking when you're vacuuming, especially when you're doing a loop carpeting, you want to be looking for any loose, Thread, loose pieces of yarn. Usually where you're gonna find these is going to be around uh, edges, maybe in, go, uh, going into a room, going into, uh, from one room into another, or going outside, or where there is something covering like a connector between two pieces of carpet, something like that. Uh, that's where you're gonna, going to find them most often. But sometimes there may, maybe they have a cat or something in the house that will claw up an area and they'll cause a loose, a loose piece of yarn. You grab that in your vacuum and uh-oh, there it goes. So you really want to watch for that. That's the main thing that you have to know about doing carpets. All right, the other thing, the last thing really that you need to know about doing carpets is, actually I guess there's two more things, eh, three more things, okay. I'm gonna tell you one real quick one is make sure that your your vacuum is actually picking up. I can't tell you how many times you're vacuuming along and you think you're doing a good job and you find out that your vacuum was clogged the whole time. And eh, now you have to go re redo the whole thing or the client notices says you didn't vacuum at all. So know how to unclog your vacuums and how to be able to tell when they are clogged and when they're not clogged. So that's one. The second thing is we move our vacuums from in, 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 sorry, from a car into the house, into another house, back out to the car. Sometimes they get put down on the ground outside. They're not supposed to, I know, but sometimes they do and they get dirty. You take a dirty vacuum and you put it on somebody's carpet and you can leave marks on their carpet. So how to care for the vacuum? Where do you put it? Some of you will probably only use the client's vacuums. If you're only using the client's vacuums, again, you have to be extra careful with care, how to take care of that vacuum. The, the care of the vacuum is most important with doing the the carpeting because that's where the most damage or problem can come. It's from the actual equipment. That's not the same as mo with most of the other areas that we've been talking about, but it definitely is with the, with the carpet. All right, the other thing, I said there was one more thing and then I said I had to slide in two more, right? I had to slide in the, the dirty and I had to slide in the, the other one. Okay, so the last thing that I really wanted to talk about is what is the pattern that you use in your company? The pattern to the vacuuming is going to be very important. You might use a checkerboard pattern where you vacuum this way and then you vacuum this way and then vacuum this way again. I don't know what it is. Maybe you do the shell pattern or maybe you do the rainbow pattern. There's a lot of different patterns and you need to know when you use which pattern or what pattern you use. Your company might have one pattern that it uses in all houses, all rooms, all the time. You need to know what that is because if you don't use that pattern, you're going to be causing problems for your company. Okay, so the main things that I wanted to talk about today were edging, Berber, that loop carpet, right? The pattern, what's the pattern that you use? 
keeping the floors clean, and those clogs. How do you unclog a vacuum? And even if it's not your vacuum, it's somebody else's vacuum, how do you unclog it? All right, find out the answers to those five things. Which one sounds hardest to you? Which one sounds like, I don't know how to do that. So which one sounds hardest? Okay, talk to you tomorrow, bye.